Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News. We're trying to grow the audience, and thank you to the new folks who've checked in. By the way, Tony, uh, our drummer, Matt, uh, checked in with a like on one of our uh, Facebook shows. One of the ones Yay. we have up on Facebook. So that was it was kind of nice. Of course, he's a drummer. Right? How do you, how do you I know? I can't say that I'm married to a drummer. What does it mean when the drummer's drooling out of both sides of their mouth? The stage is level. Thank you. So, for that kind of <laughs> stinging wit and witty repartee. What's the last thing a drummer says before the band fires him? Hey, let's play one of my songs. <laughs> Uh, see what I'm saying? This is a hoot. Yeah. So please like, Just subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News. And if you'd like to send us a story that you think we would like to put on, or just get a, a giggle out of, you can send that to uh, TITR at netradio.network. And thank you for your support. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. All right, in an effort to make this quite less epic than the last go round, let me. Sorry, man, there were just stories lunging right into the story. Lunging out of of scientists from Auburn University, Hmm. War Eagle, recently published the results of their latest experiment. Their project sure sounds outlandish, though. Trust. See if you've heard this before. They've created a catfish alligator hybrid. Oh come on! Every B, C, D, E, or Z science fiction movie you've seen there's been at least one of those right where the scientists what catfish alligator it's a hybrid tasty but dangerous yeah and you don't have to use gasoline you can plug it in wrong hybrid sorry while it sounds like a really bad science fiction movie yeah you do not have to worry about these ravenous rascals lurking in the waters just think about it alligator and catfish. catfish Catfish everything, wrestling is going to be very different from here everything, on out. You've won in a predator. <laughs> um, the scientists only implanted one alligator gene into the catfish, just one. But it can make a big difference, at least for the catfish farming industry, because catfish are notoriously prone to disease. Oh, and, yeah. Well, there's bottom feeders. What do you expect? Well, that and and it's when not you like you in- find, you know, five star dining. But not only at the that, bottom of a river, not only that, though, but the close quarters of the farming areas they have can often cause trouble because a disease will run crazy through the herd. Flock. Gaggle. The alligator gene. Just murder. Like, a murder. A murder of catfish makes the catfish more resistant to illness and can't. Is it a. It wouldn't be a school of catfish, would it? Because that'd be a stupid school. <laughs> right? They'd all be in the basement. The alligator gene makes catfish more resilient to illness. Okay. Thus, farmers have less loss. So, <clears throat> the researchers intend for you to eat this alligator-catfish hybrid. Catagator. Yeah. If I saw the pictures. Yeah. Okay. So, in all honesty, these are not the scary, weird monstrosity they look Damn like catfish it. i know although the one catfish the guy was holding was about as big as he was oh so my. That was a little scary catfish can get very big they can no yeah. which is why canoodlers are weird to me here come bite my fingers not at the elbow Where have I? my arm back please uh the catfish don't have alligator teeth they don't grow don't grow to gargantuan alligator sizes oh. and actually if you look at them they just look like the fish they have little tiny legs they no. no, except they tend to resist disease and live longer. And that is a boon for the catfish industry. Do they taste good? Well, if you like catfish, if you're wondering, catfish is among the most widely consumed seafood in the country, our yep. U.S. Yep. Domestically, we produce 307 million pounds of catfish per year. Yeah, and that's more up, than one catfish. So that's, that's good. Like seven of them. Yeah. It makes up to 60 to 70 percent of the all U.S. fish farming. The yeah, fish and that's farmers, right. oddly, they lose about 40% of their catfish Ooh. because of disease. This should drive prices down then because they're so going to be keeping more of them. Oh, you're <laughs> so cute when you're trying to be realistic. <laughs> By the way, it's not just about the loss of money from dead catfish. Yeah. When a dead fish dies, you have to get rid of it because, well. It's dead. Yeah. So now you've got hazardous waste to get rid of. <laughs> I'm Well, it's yeah. rotting fish. 
So the waste has to be disposed of safely. That la- wastes more money yeah. and time. Yep. So making the fish more disease resistant just makes sense. But as always, genetic manipulation always raises some questions. Now, if we just fly by the very biggest one of them, mm-hmm. should it be done in the first place? Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> there are other questions. What if the hybrid catfish got into nature? They don't die as easily. They could entirely replace native populations, could they not? Oh, yeah. We, they had that problem I mean, in Australia. They might breed so efficiently that they'd yeah. fill our lakes and rivers, and soon everybody of every body of water would be filled with nothing but catfish. Not so, says the team that did this marvelous work. Why? We are smarter than the catfish. We made sure the modified catfish can't breed. Until they can. For all of us that saw Jurassic Park, yep. <laughs> I think I speak for the entire room when I say, oh, my God, we're going to be taken over by catfish. I always thought it was going to be the robot insurrection. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> go ahead, start your list alphabetically and send it to us. A staff member at a bar was given a lost handbag and discovered something unusual inside. Money? Money? <laughs> She checked the bag for ID in hopes to return it to the owner, but to her surprise, the handbag was full of something she just wasn't expecting. With a dicky. You know how a lot of people end their nights out by heading straight over to some fast food joint? Yeah. We always used to go to White Castle and, you know, buy See, a I had of visions sliders. of like dirty underwear stuff in there for the shame walk, but no. 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 Oh, no. In a tent, you know, afterwards, you know, you go out to White Castle and you eat a bunch of food because it's going to soak up the alcohol you've consumed when you really needed to eat it before you went there. Yeah. Anyway, it seems one very clever young lady was doing this in the club instead of waiting for her night out to end. (laughs) It was called the Attic or Attic Nightclub in Wrexham, Wales, posted a video to the club's official TikTok account. Showing a woman sharing the findings of the handbag. Okay, so someone just handed this cute little bag into the bar. So I thought I'd have a little look to see if there's an ID in there or anything like that. And it's just full of chips. Fish hand? No, <laughs> no, just the chips. Really? She brought French fries. Filled the handbag with French fries. Well, that. <laughs> TikTok users love the video. Some claim they want the owner of the hand, uh, they want the owner of the handbag to be their friend. Well, that's meantime. You know, some, about it. some girl was crying in the back of the taxi about leaving him behind. <laughs> Why do I keep <laughs> picturing Fluffy talking about this on stage? I just oh, there you go. <laughs> Because he's had more than a few drinking stories. Oh, yeah. you don't get to be his size. Uh, Fluffy, his real name is? Gabriel Iglesias. That's right. The stand-up oh, comic. Yep. Wow, well, man, after like 20 years, he and the lady he was with split up. I was kind of sad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yep. <sighs> Next story. Oh, Westford, I mean, we could be quiet for 20 minutes and it'd be the same length as last story. West Virginia's Senate has passed a bill that would give $25,000 in tax credits to former residents who move back to the state to work. Stop it, you moron. <laughs> or as, as Hulk would say, or as Thor would say, good luck, morons. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Yes, 25 grand in tax credits if you're a former resident and you move back to West Virginia to work. The Senate passed the bill unanimously and sent it on to the House. Those who are eligible had to live and work in West Virginia for at least 10 years or were born in the state, had to live outside of the state for at least 10 consecutive years prior to 2023. Any unused portions of the credit could be applied to future tax years. And you've got six years to use it. That's so weird. That's so oddly specific. The Well, it is a, a state government so, you know, I'm amazed they didn't say any slack jawed yokels out there come home. Yeah, but they're probably already there. I mean, it's West Virginia. We need the smart ones left. We need to get them back. <laughs> I've been to See, West Virginia. I understand, right? Yeah. The, the idea to entice people back. Yep. Might you want to first correct what made them leave? Well, yeah. Uh, California was trying to tax people who left because... 
which yeah. is always an ingenious play to keep them. Right. <laughs> See, I figure by the time we're dead, yeah. the grandkids, my grandkids can go to California without thinking, oh, I hope I don't catch any liberal. Because it, it's contagious. Yeah. Um, because they'll all have moved to, you know, Oregon, New Mexico, Washington. No, yeah. yeah, well, there is that. They'll be spreading west. I'm still interested to see when more of them get to Texas because the Texans have already noticed some of them are there. Oh, yes. They've been trying to keep them in Austin. But it's getting so, difficult. Yeah, but they're all armed. Yep. Yep. Texicans uh, have got their stuff together. Go, Texas. Hang on. There we go. Hook them horns. Take this job and shove it. Two. David Allen Co. Many years ago, I worked at a place called Atomic Burrito. Why? I think we've all eaten there once. <laughs> Why? I only worked there for four days. I was washing the dishes and the manager walked by and started yelling at me for using soap. He said, soap, sorry? Costs, soap costs money. We're he, just, was, he was, he was, uh, yeah. uh, we're just putting the same food back in the pans anyway. I noped the frick right out the door. Uh, uh, I'm currently in the do U.S. You remember what? Big Bang Theory when Mrs. Wallowitz got hurt? No. And they had to find a nurse. Okay. And the longest one stayed a day and a half. And Penny needed a job. So they said, Penny, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you a lot job. of money. Okay, I'll try that. And you, they cut to her walking out, taking off rubber gloves, going, nope, nope, keep your money. Right <laughs> out the door. That'd be me. This yeah. ain't happening. Right there. Guy's Man. currently in the U.S. military. He's back and forth about re-enlisting for another four years. He's done, done about nine years up to this point. Okay. He has a three-year-old daughter at home who I haven't seen in almost two years for more than three weeks. I was talking to an officer in my chain of command when I told him my thoughts. I had just received orders to remain overseas for an additional two years. I don't know how they're going to do that. Is exact you... yeah, the family moved with my dad. That's why we were in Germany. Yeah, we're here. Although I'm, I maybe he's in a war zone. Some families don't want to. Yeah, but I... or if he's in a war zone, you know, I get that. Yeah, you won't move there. I had just received orders to remain overseas for an additional two years, which I'd already told you. His exact words to me were, you've already missed two years of her life. You can afford to lose two more. I'm out. Yep. Nope. Keep your next, money. Next day, I signed the documents to separate. I'm filling out the paperwork. Gotta go. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.